Woo! In this video, we're going to check and see how aluminum, mild steel, stainless steel, and AR500 handle full metal jacket threats as well as some specialty threats. We're going to do the 5.56 and the 30-06 in full metal jacket, plus some specialty rounds in the same calibers. So let's go ahead and see how we do. All right, back at the ranch for some more testing. A uh, windy day here, and what do we have? So we got some steel testing, some metal testing that we're gonna do. We got some, every one of these plates is a half inch thick. Uh, table's a little wobbly, so it might look a little different. But we have uh, aluminum, mild steel, stainless steel, and AR500. We are gonna go ahead, use five different rounds. We're gonna use uh, 5.56, five, a 55 grain full metal jacket. We got uh, SS109 or, or green tip 5.56, five, and we have the A1 in 5.56, five, which has got the hardened tip there. We then have 30-06 full metal jacket, 150 grain, and we have the M2AP at the end. So this test isn't so much to figure out which one is the strongest. I actually put them in the order that I believe they go from uh, least uh, impact resistant to most impact resistant. But we wanna see how they react with each different round. We got the chronograph. We're gonna try to get velocities as best we can. Wind is kinda messing with stuff. And uh, we also have, this is 70, 75. Out there already, we have a 6061 T65 aluminum plate. We're gonna go ahead and shoot that with uh, 44, ma uh, 44 uh, Magnum just to see. Uh, we have some new equipment out here. We have a slow motion camera. We're gonna try to catch all this and see how they react. But uh, let's get out there and see, uh, see what we stop. Pretty sure, the other thing is, we're gonna go ahead and if, if the 55 grain full metal jacket goes through this. I don't think we will go ahead and shoot the A1 or the M2 AP 30-06 through these because it's pretty pretty well. If it goes through this, it's gonna. If if the full metal jacket goes through it, obviously the armor piercing round will go through it. So we'll kind of do what in in a level of of hardness and level of threat. So let's go ahead and start the testing. Okay, so like I said, we got a 44, 240 grain soft jacket at hollow point, and we're gonna try the 6061 half inch plate. Okay. Okay, so we were able to stop the the 44 Magnum with this uh, 6061. So let's go ahead and see what a 55 grain full metal jacket will do. As expected, the 55 grain full metal jacket went through the 6061 half inch aluminum. So we're moving on to the 7075. Uh, we forgot to get the chronograph reading on the last one, so we're going to go ahead, get it on this one. Whoo, clear. Reading was 3,112 feet per second. Okay, even though the 5.56 full metal jacket went through, we're gonna go ahead and hit this with the 30-06, 150 grain, get a reading on the chronograph, and go from there. Okay, ready? Clear, 
reading 2,810 feet per second. We're on to the mild steel, back to the full metal jacket, 5.56. Five, Hit it towards the top left. Error on the chronograph reading. So we were able to stop the 55 grain full metal jacket. So we went on to the 62 grain green tip. And uh, let's see if we can get a reading and if we can get this to go through. Another error, I'll have to check the chronograph. So no reading on that, let's go check the plate. Half each battle still was able to stop a green tip. So now we're on to the A1. I didn't get a chronograph reading, we reset it. Uh, I'll show you these plates at the end. I was gonna take you over there, but let me shoot all these plates and then uh, we'll go from there. All righty. Clear. 2,924 feet per second. So we were able to get the A1 to go through the half inch mild steel. We're still gonna go ahead and hit it with the full metal jacket 30 at six. Get a reading and uh, see what uh, a little bit more energy will do on this. So you ready? Here we go. Woo! 27, 21, knock the plate off. Okay, so now we are on to the half inch stainless steel, 306 stainless steel. Um, and I know that there's stronger aluminums, uh, different types of mild steel, stronger stainless steel, all, all sorts of stuff. These are just common metals that uh, I was able to get my hands on. So onto the stainless steel, we got the full metal jacket, 55 grain, 556. Let's, uh, let's do this. First shot, I'll put it a little to the left. Clear. Uh, reading 3,013 feet per second. Interesting stuff. We'll show you the pictures, but harder doesn't always seem better. I don't want to say it went through, but uh, but there was less give in the steel. So we're gonna go ahead, we're on to the 62 grain green tip and uh, let's see what we get. We will go just to the right of that one. Clear. Oh, reading 2,945 feet per second. Moving on to the 5.56 A1, uh, green tip didn't do that much. So let's go ahead and see if we can get a better, better result with the A1. Clear. Oh, speed, got an error, don't know the speed.
So we still have the stainless steel up there. We're gonna go ahead and hit it with the full metal jacket 30 out six and uh, see what we get. Okay, we'll go a little to the right. Woo! Velocity, 2,807 feet per second. Okay, so now we got the AR500 half inch steel up there. Uh, we're just gonna skip the 55 uh, grain full metal jacket, 556. Five, uh, I know speed usually goes through steel, but we also know that this isn't gonna do much except fragment off of this. So we're gonna start with the 62 grain green tip, 556, five, and uh, see what we get. Clear. Speed, 2,908 feet per second. Okay, as expected, the green tip did very little to the AR500 plate, so now we're going on to the A1. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and see if we can do anything with that one. Okay, good. Clear. Okay, velocity 3,025 feet per second. Okay, so A1 did make a little divot in there, but didn't go through. So we're gonna go 30 out six. We're gonna do full metal jacket first. Just give it a try. And then we will uh, go on to a few other things. All right, here we go, 30 out six. Woo, speed 2,793 feet per second. Thirty out six didn't do much. It had a nice little uh, spalling effect, but uh, took out the strap. We put it back together. So now we went ahead and got the M2 AP round. We're gonna go ahead and see if this can do anything to the half-inch AR500 plate. Okay. Woo! Velocity, 2,696 feet per second. M2AP went through a half inch AR500 pretty easily. Uh, again, I'll show all this at the end. But we have one more threat, one more shot we wanted to do. This one's a 308 silver tip. This one should give us a little bit more for the show. Um, so let's go ahead and see what this one does. Okay, here we go. Velocity, 2,753 feet per second.
Okay, so we're back at the shop here. We're gonna review what uh, what happened with the plates. So starting with the half inch 70, 75 aluminum, we have our 556 55 grain full metal jacket and our 30 out 6 150 grain full metal jacket. As you can see, both of those sailed straight through pretty easily. Um, did get a little bit of, uh, maybe a very, very little bit of, I would guess, bulging before it just plugged out. But So while it is a harder materi material, it does have a little less ductility. So it doesn't uh, stretch with the, with the force, the energy going through it. It just plugs straight out. So... Next, after that, we had the mild steel. We go into the heavier plates. And as you can see here, let me pick this up. We had our uh, 55 grain full metal jacket, the M855 green tip, the A1 in 5.56, and the 30 out 6 150 grain full metal jacket. What's interesting on a half inch mild steel from where we were shooting from, the green tip seemed to have less penetration than the 55 grain full metal jacket. I'm sure that has something to do with the velocity and the speed, but as you could see the the back face there, I mean they're they're relatively close. So but obviously the A1 and the 30 out 6 penetrated, which looked pretty easy. It looks pretty cool in there with the A1. It's got more of a copper tone and definitely a much smaller hole coming out but but it plugged right through so after that we wanted to see if the third if the uh, 304 stainless steel half inch stainless steel was any any harder than the mild steel well it performed almost identical I will say it did <laughs> have an interesting result with the full metal jacket the 55 grain full metal jacket and as you can see right here, it started to plug out. And that's the ductility I was telling you about. Even on the even on the green tip, it started to crack a little bit. But the 30 out 6 and the uh, 556A1 round, those both went through pretty easily. Next was the flashy one, the AR500. So, here's what the AR500 looks like. We basically have our green tip, which almost did no, very little there. The A1 556, a little bit bigger divot. 30 out 6, almost less than the green tip. But when we got to the 30 out 6 M2AP, the black tip, that one went straight through easily but surprisingly the 308 api uh the little flashy silver tip there it bulged oof i don't know if you can see that that bulged the ar plate but it did not go through half the front half of the of the api round is still in there the hardened steel is still in there still looking for the other one i found the round for this and I'll show you here in a little bit what it looked like. So that right there is what the M2AP round looked like. It was a little deformed, but otherwise full tacked. Alright, thank you guys. Until next time.